Are we sitting right angle room? Ready? Well, hi, Sister Doris. How you doing? I'm oh, fine, you, Sister Diane. Hey, Doris, you know, we've been talking for a while, and I, I have a question I want to ask you. Is you that all right? Yeah. Okay. You can ask me anything, Sister Diane. Okay. Well, have you come to a place in your spiritual life where you know for sure that if you die today, that you would go to heaven? Or is there something you'd say is still, you're still working on? You know, um, that thought has part of my mind. Because I was just wondering, you know, if, if I don't receive the Lord like I should, wh where would I go? You know, because sometimes I, I feel like, um, I believe and I'm doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like that I'm not. Yeah. You know, and, and if I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing to go to heaven. Well, I, I know in my life that happened but uh, for many years, but then I discovered something wonderful. And I discovered it, and, and I discovered it was possible to know for sure, because you sound like you're not sure. But you can actually be sure for eternal life. I even discovered that that this was the reason the Bible was written. And the scripture says, These things have I written unto you that you might know that you have eternal life. May I share how I come to know for certain that I can have eternal life and you can too? Yes, I would like to hear because I would like to get a better understanding um, and some answers to the questions I do have. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I am really happy. Uh, I'm just happy that you're even listening. Uh, first, let me ask, for, ask another question, which I think really brings the whole matter to a focus, which makes, make, makes plain our thinking about it. Suppose you were to die today and you stood before God and he were to say to you, why should I let you into my heaven? What would you say, Doris? Um, I would say to God that um, I think I've tried to do my best. Um, I've been doing good things and I've been helping people, and I hope that he would let me in. Because um, although I mess up a lot of times, I, I, I believe God is a forgiving God, and, and, um, and he sees the good things I do. But, um, I'm just hoping that, that he'll, he'll, he'll let me in. Oh, sure. But, but this, that's very interesting. And, you know, the things that you say are very, very commendable. And you know something? When you answered the first question, I thought that I had something really, I had some really good news for you. But after hearing your answer to the second question, I know that I do, in fact. I would go as far as to say that the next 60 seconds, you are going to hear you are going to hear the best news of your life. And that's how and that's how important knowing your destination of eternal life. Well, first of all, so, so do you realize that you can be certain? Um I guess I can be certain. Well let me let me tell you the ways that you can be certain about the gospel. Well, first of all, you know, grace. You know, when we talk about grace, heaven is a free gift. It's nothing that you have to do. It's something that Christ has done. Uh, in the scripture, it says that the, in Romans 6.23, it says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Can you buy a gift? No. A gift is something that's free. Well, I can buy a gift for somebody else. But then it's no longer a gift, is it? 
It's no, something that you I, earned. I earned it right. and I purchased it. Exactly. Okay, then, I understand that. And see, a large part of my life, I felt exactly the way you do. I thought that if if I was ever to get to heaven, I'd have to earn it, or to become good enough, or work, uh, or work, or do something to deserve it. And then I discovered something amazing. I discovered that heaven is absolutely free. Um, it, it is unearned favor. When you say grace, you say, I mean, unearned favor, unmerited, something that you could never give back. You could never equate to it. Oh, and, yes. and it's undeserved. We don't de even deserve because, you know, we were born in sin. There's nothing we could do good enough to equal that. Oh, but that's what grace means? Yes. And, oh, I didn't know that. And it says, by grace, meaning God's favor, you are Saved through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. And that's in Ephesians 6, uh, in Ephesians 2, uh, 8 and 9. You know, a lot of times it's good to know what the word says and where to find it. And, you know, this, it, this makes it clear that this is God's word and God tells us that. So first of all, it's a gift. And then second of all, man, we're sinners. Mm -hmm. Because... The Bible says in Romans uh, 3.23 that all have sons sin and come short of the glory of God. Ever since Adam, all of us, he, he began sin with him and Eve and everything after them. We're part of that lineage. Oh, so I, I'm a sinner regardless of what I try to do. Exactly. I'm still a sinner. Exactly, you're a sinner. But there's, and there's only one way to be saved. And that, oh. and that is through the blood of Jesus Christ. It says, um, it says uh, in Matthew 5, 48, it says, Be thee therefore, uh, therefore perfect, as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. The blood of Jesus, perfect. The perfect land of God. And this is the reason that none of us can earn the, our way into heaven. We can't save ourselves. This comes into a sharper focus when you look at what the Bible says about God. Oh, I'm glad to hear that because I thought um, that, you know, that because somebody else sinned, I, I didn't think that it, it belonged to me, that I was a sinner too. Yes. And, and that um, there's a choice that I had to make to go to heaven. Yes, and choosing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Um, and I, I believe it, it, it's even in, in Romans 10, 9 and 10, it says, it says, if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth mm -hmm. that Jesus died for our sins, that we can be saved. And oh. that's, how this, that's how that free gift is given, through the blood of Jesus Christ. But also, it says, you know, also we learn that God is merciful. He, he, does, he doesn't want to punish us. Oh. Did you realize that? No, because I, I feel like um, he punished people when they're bad. But, you know? Well, you know, like your parents punish you when you do uh, things wrong. So I feel like, you know, God was bad and didn't do things right. They, and God would punish me and, and he wouldn't forgive me. For, for the bad things I have done. Well, there are consequences for our sin. Mm -hmm. we, we, we suffer consequences. But God loves us because, you know, 1 John 4, 8 says, God is love. He is, he is the source of all love. And he has mercy on us. Even when we do wrong, he still has mercy. And he's a just, perfect God. You know, one thing about God is holy and he's just. When you say just and perfect, that means that everything he does is right. And and he whatever he does is the right way, even when we think it's wrong at times. And uh, for example, Exodus, it, it says that uh, he will by no means uh, clear the guilt. And it says, of course, we know that the Bible teaches us that, that God is loving and merciful and great and gracious, and he doesn't want to punish us. He must deal, but he must deal with sin, but he doesn't want to punish us 
because he really loves us. And now, now what is the answer to the dilemma? God in his infinite, limited wisdom, unlimited, limitless wisdom. Mm -hmm. You see, there's no limit to God. He devised a solution, and that was when he sent Jesus Christ from heaven. He didn't come from earth. See, Adam came from the ground. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ came from heaven. Okay. And he came from heaven perfect and came to earth that we can receive eternal life. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, the, and he's, he's um, and Jesus, you know, he is part of the Trinity. You know, it's God, mm -hmm. and then God sent his son Jesus, mm -hmm. and before Jesus left, what did he do? He left the Holy Spirit. Oh. That's why when you get saved, and you receive him, and you confess, and you receive Christ as Lord, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit comes into your heart, oh, okay. and he resides there, and he will teach you and show you all truths. And how do I get um, this Jesus again? By by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, believing that He died, to, that you're a sinner first. No. Okay. okay, we're all sinners because the Bible says all oh, have sinned. Okay. Okay, and then believing that Jesus Christ uh, died for our sins. When He laid on, when He was on that cross, He hung high on that cross. He took the sins of the whole world. Um, on him and he was perfect and when he did that he did that for you and me and when you believe that and, and make him Lord you can live uh, eternal life your spirit can mm -hmm. well sister Diane um, I like all the things that you're saying to mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to turn my life over to Jesus. Uh, I really don't want to be a sinner anymore. Um, and I want to make sure that I can go to heaven too. Uh, and I want to be able to believe in my heart and have faith that I can go to a better place and that God accept me in. Because I, I do not want to go to hell. Well, you know, I, I, you know, you have made one of the biggest decisions and most important decisions for your entire life by what you just said. Because right now, you can accept Jesus Christ as your Lord. As a matter of fact, you see this chair here? Yes. This is like the presence of God. You know, even though we can't see him in a physical way, yes. spiritually he's here. Okay. And he hears, he knows every motive of, of your heart, he knows every word that you would speak before you speak it, he knows your thoughts. Yeah. Because he's God, he's a spirit. And when you open your heart to him, mm -hmm. when you're serious, because you know, it, this is a very serious thing. Mm -hmm. And you accept him as your Lord and Savior, and make him your Lord and accept him to your heart. Mm -hmm. And see, you have to. He has to be invited mm -hmm. because he doesn't barge in. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not, you know, he, he is not a God to, to make you. Mm -hmm. He's a God that he wants you willingly. Just like he died willingly for us, he wants you to willingly accept him as, as Lord and Savior. So right now, we can pray the prayer of salvation. And I tell you, the heaven will rejoice because you will no longer be part of this world, but you'll be part of God's family. Would you like to do that? Yes, Sister Diane. Please pray with me. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, you know what? I'm so glad I went to. I, I, I tell you, it's just wonderful to share because you're going to be in the family of Christ. Oh, you thank you. That? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, repeat after me. Yes. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. And Father, and Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of I Jesus, come before you, I come before you, asking you to forgive me for my sin, asking you to forgive me for my sin. And Lord, I believe, and Lord, I believe that you died on the cross, that you died on the cross, and came back to life, and came back to life, and that you, and that you have have died for my sin, 
have done it for my sins. And Lord, I invite you in right now. And Lord, I invite you in right now. To be Lord and Savior. To be Lord and Savior. In my life. In my life. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for another child of coming into the wonderful vineyard from Jesus. Bringing Sister Doris out of darkness into the marvelous light. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 You are part of the family of Christ, and I'm telling you, the angels are rejoicing. Okay. And I just thank God that, that, that you accepted him and you heard. But you know what it was? Yes. It was the Holy Spirit Praise that, God. That, that opened your heart to him. Yes. And so now, you, you, you got to learn that. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times, you know, we practice we know certain ways and all things. We gotta learn what God's way is. Because you know, when we say Lord and Savior, yes. we meant that we gonna follow Him. So you gotta you need to study, you yes. need to fellowship, you need to, to learn the ways of God. Not the ways of men, but the ways of God. And that others might come into the vineyard. Because Sister Doris, yes. this is a wonderful day. God bless you. God bless you. I am so sorry. I am so Thank you for being a friend to oh, me. Thank you. Listen, you know, Especially when I need to be. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. And Doris, you know, this is one of the wonderful things about being saved. Yes. You know, it's not just for us. Yes. It's for everybody, all of our family, everybody we know. Because nobody has to go to hell. Yes. You know, nice people go to hell. Yes. But you got to go through Christ. Okay. I'm going to go tell my family, okay, my friends about right. my, my new day today. Okay. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you that I have accepted the Lord in my life. Oh, I'm so thank you. I'm so thank you. God thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, so long. Talk to you later. Okay. <laughs>